Hi. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at uh, WAIEC uh, Computer Studies Practical. All right. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to just jump to the um, the database aspect of the question, which is question three A. By the way, this is um, 2022 past paper. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the question says, create a database and save as WASC in the folder on the desktop, in the folder like. Okay. So okay, I've got a folder already here. So let me just continue with my with other things. Okay. So create a table. Create a table with headings as shown in table two. So eleven rows. Uh, okay. Define the fields appropriately. Okay. Save the table as TBL customers. Set custom ID as primary key. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually to so this one is already settled. So um what I'm going to do is to create this table right here. This table that we have here. So I'm just I'm just gonna replicate that in the database. So I'm gonna go to the folder which I created on the desktop. So I'm gonna right click here and then um, create a, a database access. So from the question it should be what okay that's what they say we should name it. So when you might have done that you can open it. Okay, so um, we've opened the database now. So the next thing is to look at the. Okay, okay. So we're going to create a table now. Let's uh, create a table. So I'm going to go to create uh, table design. Um, obviously, so the first custom ID, first name, last name. So I'm going to have my. So obviously, they, they didn't indicate the data type or anything like that. So uh, of course, I'm going to give it any data type. I always prefer text for all. So I'm going to have a custom ID. Custom ID. Now, oh, what's going on? OK, good stuff. <laughs> uh, so short text. Obviously, I like short text a lot. Uh, the next thing, first name and last name. First name and then last name. Last name. So after that, I have um, telephone and address. Telephone and then address. Okay, so those are the so from the question also, uh, we should give uh, the what's it called the, the, the primary key to custom ID. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it right away. So I'm gonna right click and then give uh, the custom ID primary key. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to save my 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 work. It's gonna ask me to give it a, a name. So the name from the question is TBL customer. Let me be sure that. I write it okay. Where is it? Okay, so everything in small letter. So customers, customers. So that's it. So I'm going to save that. Okay, so as you can see, the table at the red, uh, the, the left pane. Uh, I'm going to go to data sheet view. Okay. Um, the data sheet view. Yeah, data sheet view. <laughs> this one will be show what I'm saying. Okay. So this done, table saved, primary key set. All right. So the next thing is A I I I form from TBL customers and save as okay. So sorry. So create a form from TBL customers and save as our form. So let's create a, uh, a form using this table. So we go to I like to close all tables before I create anything. I think. So I go to create. From there, uh, I go to form wizard. 
So from form wizard, I need all the fields from TBL customers. So I go next. I need a column now. So I move. Um, so the name from the question, the name should be should be R form. Everything in capital letters. So I'm going to just change this to R form. Then S at the back. Let me just show. You know S. Okay, so I'll finish. Okay. All right. So the form has been created now. Uh, done. So this part done. What's the next thing? So enter ten records of your choice using the form. The form created in three A I I I. So the form created. We're gonna actually um, use the form to enter data, right? Okay. So so um. So here, so I'm going to populate the table using this form. So I'm going to start with custom. So of course you, you can give your own any um. All I say now, since custom ID is made the primary key, so no two records or no two yeah, no two fields under the custom ID should be the same. I want to start with custom cost one as the custom ID. So uh, the, the first name, let me give it a the bio. A the bio. The last name should be Wale. And then um, telephone number, let me just go to zero, eight, zero, three, four, whatever. Let me just be sure. So I mean, this is it. Um, address, let me say Ikeja. Lagos, you can give more realistic address if you want to. Kija Lagos State, so this is the address. All right, so when you put in this, when you go down here, you will see a uh, next record. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on next record and then it's gonna give me a fresh, um, you know, page to add another name. So I'm gonna have the next one, I'm gonna have cost. Uh, sorry, I like the cost. Custom custom ID to be in capital letter. So cost two. So first uh, first name on for this is gonna be Onyeka. Onyeka. Last name Okonkwo. And then telephone number some you know random stuff. Okay. And then the um. Address, let me just give it in four for a number state. Number state, so that will do for it. So, for the next one, so you click the next record again and then you keep. So, as you're doing this, remember that as you're doing this, your table is being populated. So, from the form, your table is being uh, populated, right? So, what I'm going to do now is to I'm going to pause the video and then I'll populate the rest. And then I'll come back. All right, see you guys. Okay, guys. So I'm done. So I created about ten records according to the question. All right, through the form, we use the form to, you know, um, populate the table. So you can use the form just like like I did before. All right. So this is what we've, what we've got. So that is done. So I can track of this guy so write a query to retrieve the first name and so which is the, um, the c part of it write a query to retrieve the first name and telephone okay so i'm going to go to create let me just close this table um create and then from create i'll have i'll go to query wizard simple query of course and then my query will be based on the table right so what i need is the last name the fields I need are the last name and the phone number for this query. All right. Yeah. So these are the these are the columns or the fields I want to retrieve. So I move ahead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the name as query. TBL customer query. All right. So I'll finish. And then this is the query that we need. So this is the the field that they, they say we should retrieve. All right, so no specific age or maybe number or um, phone number or something, just everything right there. All right, so 
that's the that's that, that's it for this question which is c to the d design a report using 3c okay so we're going to do design a, a report based on this on the on the query all right so i'll go to create again to create tab and then report wizard from report wizard you want to ensure that you choose the query from this uh, tables query option all right so obviously what i need i need all the i need the two fields and then next i don't need any ordering i don't need any sorting so of course next so make sure you, you check this to adjust the field width okay um so here i'm going to give the the report because i asked, so i've already seen the question that you're going to print the report so i'm going to give it my name the name of the the title of the report will be my name okay something like this so if you have some uh, uh what's it called center number uh what's it called and um, bridge number or something like that you can also add it at the back of your name fine so you can finish up so report is created all right so as you can see my name is up here so it's always good to have it here and even if they say you should add title to your uh, report maybe sometimes the question can ask you to add a title you can move your name to the right or to the left depending on where the title will be all right so this is it this is the report all right mm, i just want to shift this table this this table column i want to shift it to the left a quite a bit all right so i'm going to close the preview and go back to i'll do this in uh layout view so i'm going to just click on the last name and then hold on my control key and click on any of the fields below so i'm just going to shift this and then click on telephone and then click again on the flowing fields down and then of course move it a little bit to the left all right so that can it will make sense a little bit to look uh, consistent okay so the next thing the next question will be to design a report using this we've done this so insert a footer and type in your full name and index number okay so what i'm going to do uh this is my name here it's important that you have it so but since since they say we should insert our name at the footer I may get rid of this name so i'm going to go back to uh, home and then my design view probably get this guy off maybe get this guy off since we don't want it i don't i don't think if you leave it anything is gonna i don't think you're, you're gonna be marked down but you know for the sake of it you know just to make so they don't require us to have anything here so i'm going to push it up a little bit in fact okay so it's going to be slight Okay, in fact, I'll probably close it up completely. So let me see how it's going to look like in the, the design. So this is how it's going to look like. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing, so ah, uh, let me see the question again. Sorry. Insert a footer and type in your full name and index number. Your index number, I guess, your uh, exam number. So now, if you look at this place, the page footer will. We you already have um. So if I, if I go to the, the data sheet, you, you see the, the date and then you see the page number. So these placeholders here, they're the ones holding the page. Okay. So I can I can choose to insert or delete the page number now or all, all these uh, placeholders. But I'll choose not to do that. So this, if you, if you put anything in between here, it will appear on every page. But I, I just want something below the, let's say below my my document or my report so i'm going to just go go down to report footer okay not page footer but report footer here just in between just at the end just click there as you see this arrow click there drag down a little bit to create a space and then use the label here click on the label and then drag across where you're going to actually put in your name so i'm going to put my name here okay let me just make it in capital letters in top part all right so comma so if you have your read number and all what not you can add at the back of it too all right so i'll go back to design view and then this is what i have 
So as you can see, there's cash sign here telling you that the space I left for the the date is too small. So I'll go back and then probably increase the date and placeholder and then try again. Yeah, so the date is coming up. So I think this is what is needed. Mm, but if, if you look at this now, they didn't specify the font size of our name and all that. So because I feel like my name is very small and then there's information on the on the report is very small so i can probably choose to make it bigger you know so i'll select the text go to property sheet all right and then go down to font size here and then make it something like uh, let's say 16 and uh, let me make it 18 actually let me make it 18 something like that so, so it will be obvious so once they see your paper they will just see your name and your, your information all right so that is it all right for for the footer so i think this is the end of it so print report and submit to the supervisor so i think that's about it so um thank you so much so if you have any question you can leave a comment down below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also if you have um some other suggestions please you can leave a comment down below all right thank you so much i will see you in the next one